All right, guys, so round four action. This will be last night, uh, last round of our stream tonight, as I do have to uh, take off a little bit early today. But uh, got a winning in match here, as I think uh, both these guys are drawing live. Uh, Vickers is 2 0 and 1, Scotty is 2 and 1. No, Scotty is 1 1 and 1. Oh, uh, Vickers is 1-2? This game doesn't matter. Why is this on? Why do we put this on? Well, it's too late now, right? It doesn't matter. They don't care about who wins or not. This will be it's decent. Game. Yeah. yeah. But I always try to get the matches that matter, at least. Okay. The problem was is this other matchup between Dylan and Chad. Uh, I don't know Dylan. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. That was unprofessional and disgusting, but... Uh, You're a good commentator. <laughs> it, well, it, it just happened. Um... But if Scotty wins, he'll make it to the top eight because of the low count tonight. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't just scoop two on. But, I don't know. Two and two might make it because there's some, there's some unintentional yeah, draws. People are going to pair down. Yeah. We'll talk about this match a little bit here on the left. We've got Adam Vickers. He is playing uh, Mono Black Devotion. He's been playing this for quite a while now. He's played in our round one feature match uh, and lost, I believe, to D. Lucy. You? Was it your No, I haven't played him. I think he lost to... No, he beat to Logan. He beat Logan's combo deck at the time. I think he lost to a mono black mirror. Yeah. Um, so he's been thought seizing and devour fleshing here. And uh, his opponent is Scotty Wright, who's on junk mid range. A uh, variation of the Reed Duke list from a couple Grand Prix ago. And he's uh, managed to land a scavenging use here. Start doing a little bit of business with that desecration demon. The Desecration Demon is a, gives fits to this junk deck, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, well, Scotty has a hero's downfall in hand, but the... Doesn't have the mana The mana is awful it. in the deck. The mana is awful. Like, to be able to play Archangel of Thune as well as Abrupt Decay, <laughs> you have to I mean, be... I plays Obsidat, at Archangel of Thune, Corsair of Crucifix. And Hero's Downfall. <laughs> hero's Downfall, yeah. <laughs> it's got double everything. Double everything. But he is getting some incremental life here out of the aforementioned Scavenging Ooze. So despite one demon hit, is still only at 19. But uh, he's going to need to find an answer quick. It looks like you're getting stuck on lands here. As he serves in with his now 4-4 four, four ooze. Uh, shock. Yeah. Going to shock himself with an overgrown tomb. And here his downfall is going to answer the... Uh, Demon, quick question, uh, Jonathan. Is there any reason to do that during Scotty's turn at sorcery speed? I know it's a very small thing, but there's, there's no reason to, and there's no reason not to, really. Yes. Well, that's think. yeah. That's that's a perfectly fair way of looking at that. I I knew that there wasn't a reason not to. But I mean, he knew about the hero's downfall. There's so. a main deck life bane zombie. Ugh. Get another archangel. Yeah, he knew about that too. Revealing Doomblade and a uh, Elspeth. Few turns off, cast him that. I don't know, this ooze is getting pretty big. It is and a 5 5. Adam's cast two Thoughtseize, so he's already. And one Devour Flash. But the, the problem is for Scotty is that Adam's deck is literally nothing but removal. Yeah. Like this ultimate prize. And Scavenging Ooze, for as good a creature as it is, it dies to all of the removal spells. There's another one. But the second ooze is never as good as the first because. Well, he has been playing conservatively with his graveyard. He didn't eat one to get an extra damage in the turn before. So he's got three targets, I think, right yep. now. There's a pack rat with the activation up. And more importantly, we forgot to mention uh, several turns ago, Adam sticking a Underworld Connections, which uh, absent an abrupt decay from Scotty is going to grind some significant uh, card advantage here. He just needs to hit lander ops and drop the ale stuff. But... Mm -hmm. Well, the Corsair will help. Yeah, well, Forest off the top is going to gain him a life, effectively draw him a card. I love Corsair so much. And there's a Varaska sitting on oh. top, so things getting bad for uh, for Vickers here. Serving in with the ooze again, drops Adam down to seven. He's going to draw. Oh no, he's just going to seven. Make it a rat. Make. A rat token, and there you see the original Adam Vickers token. It's not actually the original, I own the original. He doesn't even own the original. Well, because I want it. 
He plays another pack rat from hand and serves in here. So the rats, the rats are now three threes. They he can turn them into four fours because he does have a mutavolt up. He also can just make another one too. What does he have a mutavolt? He, yeah, it's under yeah. his hand. Okay. Yeah, he does have another card in hand, so he can just do that as well. Yeah, this is gross. Which is probably the play because you want the blocker. We're up to 250 in the last round. 260, actually. But like every time when the... It's because of your perp. <laughs> Doomblade. It's Doomblade on the Mutavolt. We'll see if that comes back to haunt Adam here. Yeah, I think Scotty was just calling him on whether he wanted to make a rat or... There's the land for Elspeth, so... He doesn't have double whites. Oh, he doesn't? <laughs> this man is awful. I guess that's all the green in the world. Nope. <laughs> Oh, he's just going to play it up. Play Varaska. But what do you kill here at this point? Uh, you, I think you're obliged, get in. You're, you're obliged to kill a he, Oh, he wins. Oh, that's exactly seven, yeah. Unless he has... Uh, yeah, because Ad, Adam can uh, draw a card with Thunderbolt Connections, but he only has one mana and can... That's a good game. Yep, I think if Adam makes a rat token there, I think the game's way different. Because yeah. he has two blockers. I mean, he, I think he knew about the Doomblade, so I think that's an argument to make the rat, but he did want to draw off this card. Or with those on the world connections. 9-20. Got a home pack and sort some bolt. Yeah, I'd like to get home, do some stuff. Pack some food. Yeah, I don't need to pack food. food now because I have free entry and I can eat like a king now. Nice. <laughs> eat like a king. We're of course talking about the PTQ tomorrow in Richmond, Kentucky, but these guys are talking about magic cards. Adam on the play, he's down a game. But he does have a turn two pack rat against a deck that doesn't necessarily have a, a lot of great ways to answer a turn two pack rat. It does have abrupt decay. Dark betrayals on the board. Mm -hmm. uh, he might. Uh, he likes ultimate price. Whoops. Well, yeah, pithing needle. Pithing needle. Adam scrying away in underworld connections. Scotty dropping the uh, overgrown tomb for some reason. Shocks himself. Courser coming? In fact, it is a Courser. Obsidian. Revealing Obsidian off the top. Yeah, it looks castable in this game. Get another black or white. Sorry, I had to... And there is a sideboarded Ashiok. You may have noticed in game one, Adam had a couple. Oh, That's pretty good. That. I had a he couple. Can cast that next turn. Uh, you may remember... No, he can't. Because... Well, yeah, he has to chump block with that. Does yeah, opposite that so... read only? Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't... Yeah, it returns to play under Scotty's control. It's not that good. But he did hit a Dark Betrayal, which is also good. Yeah. You may have noticed in game one, uh, Adam had two copies of Watery Grave. The mono black decks play Temple of Deceit anyway, just for the scry, but he's playing actual Watery Grave for sideboard cards. Notion Thief, which uh, very uh, famously wrecked Scotty in a previous week, in which uh, Adam flashed it in response to the Sphinx's revelation. Um, but also Ashiok. You see, obviously, that Ghost Cancel, uh, it returns to the battlefield under its owner's control, right. so you can cast it with Ashiok, but... Uh, it would go back to Scotty afterwards. But you can still cast it and then never... I mean, you're jump blocking and then using your Planeswalker for a 5-5. Five, five. No, I mean, you don't do it on 5, but I mean... Right, right. You, know, you could do it next turn if you wanted to. Stealing this oh, Underworld... Shock is amazing against a deck like this. Stealing the Underworld connection is pretty good, too. Mm -hmm. And Scotty really doesn't have the board presence he needs to, to get rid of it there. Scotty's Courser is just helping Adam make his decisions with that shot. It is. And uh, that Thoughtseize uh, early in the game taking that uh, hero's downfall. Super important at this point as uh, cleared the way for Ashiok to start wrecking house. This is the point where I try to tell people, you know, when the Corsair is good, it's great. But a lot of times it's just a giant spider. No, I 
think he was chump, he's definitely chump walking there, but I don't think he was going to. Did he scry that to the bottom? Oh, okay, yeah, no, He scryed out of real connections to the bottom. Right. So Adam, seemingly in the driver's seat, he's going to shock himself with a watery grave. Three mana for an underworld connection is going to put it on a swamp. Tick up Ash Yucker getting a Pelucran house and two lands here. And there's a Golgari Charm that's going to take out the underworld connections. Adam not even going to draw a card in response. So it likely has a removal spell for this uh, centaur. There's a hero's downfall with Scotty can't it's so close, but he can't get to it. Servan, I think a devour flash is going to answer that here. So this guy's gonna gain some life, but uh, he's going to be facing down his own Pelucranos next turn. Maybe you won't remember. You just keep ticking up the Ashiok? Or do you I think I you mean, you're obliged to it this By point. leaving it on top, I think Scotty's making him tick it up. Dots these whiffs. That's got to be a good feeling for uh, for Adam. I, I mean, you could still minus it. Because he has a hero's downfall, but you already have the Pelucranos. So he could take out, yeah. Yeah, I mean, now Scotty's left with a choice. Like, neither situation is good for him. Right. Like, he draws a hero's downfall. Do you kill the Pelucranos, which is going to beat you now? Or do you take the kill the Ashiok that's going to beat you eventually? I think he has to. Mm -hmm. I think it's a 22, but... <laughs> <laughs> Elspeth in two lanes. All his win conditions. Yeah. So Scotty off the I top. I think that was another down. No. Uh... <laughs> the most irrelevant creature he, he could have been. He assumed the answers to Ashiok, too, with the yeah. Yeah. abrupt decay. So Scry, Adam leaving a whip of Erebos on top, as you can tell by the... <laughs> as he does the tell of, look through my graveyard. Temple, temple, <laughs> temple, temple, and uh, swamp. Ashiok at six. It's a here. It's a it's a hero's downfall. Oxy's response. Power flash. Mm-hmm. We're just getting rid of his creature. There's there's literally no reason not to do yeah, that. Yeah. No, I was thinking about the life. Four mana for a whip of Erebos. Uh, do you go ahead and get the opposite out at this point? I think it's enough mana. Oh, you mean with Ashok? Yes. Yeah, why not? You can't now, link it. Can he makes the mistake? I don't think he would hold him to it if he did. But. Uh, Adam is. Adam apparently has read it. These guys are pounding the table a lot. So serve in here. It's just a beater at this point. It's just a five-five. Five-five life link right now. Yeah, oh, I forgot about lifelink. Just like kids forget about Dre, I forgot about lifelink. <laughs> what? Back. Oh, no, just straight up. Uh, great, great, great merchant for seven. And this game is over. Yeah, of course it's over. Some would argue it was over when... <laughs> so many good cards. Beat you with your own Obsidat. Ashy on the mind. <laughs> Did you hear him? He goes... Adam down to six cards here. When he is on the draw side, will these help to even that out? So we've got a decider here. As far as we can tell by looking at the standings, both these players are still live for the top eight. That's a good hand. Well, Scotty starts with the Guild Gate, and Vickers goes for the Thought Seize, revealing Hero's Downfall, Underworld Connections. And two abrupt kick. Of course, the underworld connections is foil. That's why Adam likely is taking it. It will draw twice as many cards. Exactly. So underworld connections now. So uh, um, Scotty with a lot of reactive spells in his hand. Just drew for Eska. So he's the control deck in this game. Yeah. But there's also things in his head that are very qualified. Like those two abrupt decays. If Vickers is just on demon draws, they don't do anything. So, it'll be interesting to see how this game plays out. Adam just plays a Swamp and passes back, so no, uh, don't turn to Pack Red. I also notice Adam's not playing with his patented Urza Saga basic lands tonight. 
wonder what the deal is. Adam is saying to a bystander out there that his hand is horrible against this guy's hand right now. So here's a mute vault off the top. And he, no, he just plays the swamp and passes back. Oh, removal. Obviously. Yeah, I'm all... Yeah, good. That's cool. So Scries with the temple puts it on bottom. I, I can't make out what's in Adam's hand, but he's clearly not happy. It's gotta be just removal spell after removal spell. So there's a course there. Laying off the top, gain a life. Scry to the bottom. Scry to the bottom, Archangel <laughs> on top. Well, it's not too good because you know he's just holding it. Awesome creatures are rarely a, a windmill slam against the mono black deck. But I, Adam is drawing nothing but lands this game. I sideboard out the angels against mono black. They don't do a lot, they, they just so many they just eat this ultimate prize. Yeah. Ooh, does he want a trigger? Oh, he doesn't. Are there any creatures now? See, that's interesting. What did Adam actually respond to there? I think they may have missed... Well, he played it, and then... <laughs> there's no chance... There's no, no there's window. No, but it... I think they just missed the... I'm not going to go out there and explain how priority works, too. Well, there. I mean, I don't think Scotty was doing anything. Well, he could have played that played land, land. Right. And made his okay. courser bigger. I think they just... Oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Yeah, once it resolves, then Scotty has priority, yeah. and you can't respond to a land, land drop in any way. Yeah. You can respond to the trigger, but at that point, it's, it's already happened. There is a naked gray merchant just for a two-point life swing. Land off the top. Gain some life. There's another land. See, when the course, when the turn three courser comes on board and, and goes unmolested, it racks up a lot of card advantage. Mm -hmm. I've not played, I don't play standard, obviously, but uh, it went in my cube immediately. Yeah, of course, and it's it, awesome. Yes, uh, there was uh, I recently uh, drafted a deck with my cube in which I ha I was playing against your brother actually. Uh, one night he came over and I had both Oracle Moldaya and Corsair <laughs> in the same deck, and in play turns three and four, and he never killed them. Uh, and uh, with disgusting. I had probably three fetch lands in my deck, so like he just never he just always constantly shuffling the top, just always playing two lands a turn, gaining so much life. Yeah. I was playing the the rare Naya Super Friends. So Johnny had, and Friends. He had a Johnny, a couple Garricks, I had a uh, big no, I had the big Chandra. Okay. And a Karn. It's pretty good. Why not? So Thoughtsies revealing here is downfall. The two are brought decays we knew about. Well heck, all three of those removal spells we knew about since the beginning. As well as the Veraska. I think you take the Veraska here, right? this text from a Tony in my phone, which is weird because I never put uh, anyone without a last name in my phone, and I've never had any messages from him before, and all he says is, this, yo, you coming tonight? You, but are you coming? That's the no, question. I mean, apparently there's something going on and I'm invited. But... Well, I mean, sounds like you're about to tear it up in the clubs. Huh? <laughs> no idea who that is. So add him down to just two cards in hand. His board state is a gray merchant, a muta vault, and a billion lands. Look like another merchant off the top here. It's often a mistake when you serve in with the merchant before you play your other one, I think. You open yourself up to shenanigans. <laughs> but Scotty yeah. just has no business and uh, just has those dead cards in his Scotty hand. here is downfall. He just doesn't think it's worth it. Well, he is a 17 not. life. I, I agree with that. Yeah. A temple, scrying another card to the bottom. So what are Adam's best draws here? Uh, well, I, I, knowing Scotty's hand, it's hard to say, but... I don't Pac think he would mind Unworld Connections or Pac Erebos. Packrat at this point is very good, because after he untaps next turn, right. he's going to be able to activate Packrat twice after playing it. Underworld Connection is obviously very good. You mm -hmm. can at least activate it once before Scotty uh, gets to decay it. Question in the chat, am I going to the PTQ tomorrow for the sealed PTQ or the modern tournament or both? I'm going to work the affinity for cards vendor booth. 
Unless they start having legacy uh, PTQs, I will probably not be participating in any PTQs. Or vintage, I guess. I'd play vintage. That'd be interesting. Vintage PTQs. That'd never happen because it's just a. No. It's literally like Proxy a. Proxy vintage PTQ. <laughs> that would never happen either because that would be a nightmare. So there's another Gary. This one's going to be for four. Should put Scotty down to 15, but in response to the trigger, he's going to kill the untapped one. That is correct. You can respond to the trigger, and it will check on resolution, so it's only good for two there. And these guys have played a lot of magic, and Scotty's played a lot of lands, and nothing really has happened. Scotty's pretty good with the Sinks Revelation here. That's a good top for Scott. Underworld connections? T attacking with the green version. What could he have that would make him not block? There's an Erebos. That's a good one. You can trade in some of those 18 points for, uh, for some cards. You can draw two a turn. Connections on a forest. Play a land, Play a land off life. the top. There's yet another Abrupt Decay. So is his hand now three abrupt a case? Let's draw uh, one off Erebos. I have no idea. But he should be at 16, unless he's planning on drawing a card. Yeah, Adam's going to go ahead and go down to 14 to draw two cards off Erebos, but why not? So it looks like Scotty's missing some triggers off of his Centaur, but uh, it's kind of hard to keep up with them all. Yeah, so, uh, here's another Great Merchant. This one's for six, right? No, for five. The God is only a one. So down to ten. And uh, add him up to seventeen. More importantly, the... Uh, what? I can't argue. There's a life bane zombie revealing so, so many abrupt decays. That's the turn. That's the turn. So abrupt decay eats one. Oh, duh. We're we're idiots, and so is Lola shakes. He didn't miss a trigger. Erebos can't gain life. That's true. <laughs> and another Man. land off the top. I'd be curious to see how many lands Scotty ended that game with. I'd say a solid 15. But uh, couldn't find any business. Drew all of his reactive cards in a, in a game where he he doesn't really want to be the control deck, I don't think. But, was, uh, yeah, that was a lot of land. It was an interesting game. So congratulations to Adam. He may sneak into the top eight here. We'll, we'll not uh, we'll not know, unfortunately, because that is going to be the last round of coverage for this week's F&M stream. As I've got to take off a little bit early here tonight, guys. But uh, thanks for watching. As always, make sure to follow us on our various forms of social media. Help us get over a thousand Facebook likes. We're just 14 away. Facebook.com slash Zach Sells Magic. Again, if you guys are going to be at the PTQ tomorrow, both of us will be there actually. So make sure to come and say hi to us either in the field or at the AffinityForCards.com booth. And then make sure to go to our Facebook page to look for all the events that are coming up here in the next few weeks and the months. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope to see you next week. And remember, next Friday, we've got normal FM. It's going to be the. Uh, April FNM Championships, followed by Midnight Pre-Release for Journey to Nyx. We'll be streaming that as well. Um, and then the week after that, so two weeks from tonight, uh, Booster Draft. So full Theros Block Booster Draft for our FNM stream. We'll have a, a draft for you or watch somebody's picks and then follow that up with the three rounds of draft from that from that pod. That's always fun, so hope you enjoy that. Hope you uh, can join us for that. So until then, from Jonathan and myself, we'll see you next time. Have yourself a good weekend. Yeah.